Hey guys, welcome to Girl Talk. We are very excited to be here at the Pink Poodle on Odana Road. And we've got Hallie who joins us and she's so good and so sweet and uh, this puts is a up real, with us. This is a real dog. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> she's just that proper. I know, she's so, so sweet. And uh, we've got all kinds of great things to talk about. We're gonna get with the owners of the Pink Poodle a little bit later, talk some fall trends, which we're excited about because it's getting chilly and we need something to wear. <laughs> cute to wear. Yes, very cute to wear. We need to accessorize better. We've, we, we need to get up, step up our game Absolutely. on the accessories. <laughs> so we're gonna do that a little bit later. Uh, we've got Colleen Welch who joins us, a guest host who uh, has been on Girl Talk and just did a great job. We couldn't stand but to not have you here. I'm happy to be with you guys again. <laughs> yeah, thank you for joining us. And um, you're joining us, you are owner of Trixie's Liquor. I am, yes. So we'll, we'll maybe pick your brain about that a little bit. <laughs> um, but uh, we've, had, we've got some fun stuff coming up and we're gonna talk to uh, Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. So you ladies have any fun uh, gaming stories you wanna share? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I've got a few <laughs> Vegas stories myself. Uh oh. Which was really TV fun. appropriate, maybe I should have said. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So I was brought on stage at New York, New York one time for a Cirque du Soleil show, which was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, it was um, very scary, but incredibly fun. I won 1200 bucks on the craps table the same wow. the same trip. So That's a dream win. Yeah, and then I left. <laughs> Good. And then I ran back to Wisconsin. That is so smart. Yeah. Thank you for doing that and not spending it all then somewhere else. I didn't win as much as you, but I only put five down, got 20, and I walked away and bought myself a cocktail. Willpower. <laughs> Willpower. Perfect. That's smart. Well, That's smart. You're the winner, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm a little naive in that area. I was in Las Vegas a little while ago, and... Um, just to show you how little I know about that, I'd never been in a casino before. Someone sent me with a dollar bill to put in the slots. And um, so here I'm thinking the, the old school slots where you've got to put a, a quarter in or whatever. So I went and got change for my dollar bill so I could play the slots. And I could not find a slot machine that took, took change. Oh, they I wanted it all. They wanted the bills. So <laughs> I had to go back and get the bills in order to play the slots. Not they funny. have like an updated beginner class before you walk Yeah, in. Yeah, <laughs> 101, yeah. right? Oh, I goodness. did play the roulette for someone. Someone else sent me with 200 bucks, and I walked out with over 700 for that person. Good for you. So that was interesting. <laughs> roulette really scares me. <laughs> That can go scary. either way. I know. Well, I mean, so it's quickly. so fast. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Win or lose, it mm -hmm. goes quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have any um, exciting gambling stories. In fact, I've never been to Vegas. That's something I've always wanted to do, but I've never been. I played Texas Hold'em a time or two, you know, <laughs> betting for pennies and that kind of thing. So, no I great stories on my end. Although I did play poker as a kid. We, we uh, learned from our parents who played like five card draw, she's out of here. <laughs> um, but we learned from my parents and, and one of my friends when we were playing, just joking around, you know, we were like six years old, joking five card. She actually was dealt a royal flush as we were just, you know, playing as kids. So she, talk about luck, we should have brought her to the casino. Right. But uh, yeah, no money won though on that one. <laughs> Well, we've got a great show coming up. We're going to not only talk to the owners of Pink Poodle and learn all kinds of trends, but we're also going to talk some wedding planning yep. today, which mm -hmm. is kind of exciting. It's fall. We're starting to get into fall wedding season, or maybe you're planning for your upcoming spring wedding. Yeah, I'm right in that time where all of my friends are getting married now. Not me, but all of my friends. And uh, I'm actually going to a wedding in a few days. An outdoor fall wedding. So you need a cute outdoor fall outfit for that. I should. Yeah. <laughs> We're at the right Brandy. place. Mm -hmm. Can you help me out? Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if they'll have the photo booth there. Have you been to a wedding that has the photo booth um, feature? I have. I, I went to one too, and isn't it fun? It was fantastic. Hers was a masquerade ball themed wedding. Oh, that's even so better. So to have the photo booth and like be able to take really cool pictures of ourselves all dressed up with sure. our masks and feathers, it was it was awesome. Yeah, when they have wow, props like hats funny. and the boas, and one I went to even had a little mustache you could hold up. Uh, you can take the pictures home with you. And you can take the pictures it. home. It really was fun. It was a very popular thing at the wedding I went to. Very exciting stuff. Well, it tis the season, so if you or a friend or someone you know is planning a wedding, 
Stick around, Say La Vie events will be right here on Girl Talk at the Pink Poodle. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are here at the Pink Poodle. And if you or someone you love is planning a wedding, you are in luck because we are joined by Conlin and, and Carissa, yes. who we've got the two Ks today, mm -hmm. who <laughs> join us from C'est La Vie events. And we're very excited to talk to you guys. Welcome to Girl Talk. Thank Happy you. to be here. Good. Well, we're so glad to have you. So you've got to tell us all about the services you offer. It's fall, we're starting to think fall weddings. So what are you guys doing? You actually added a new service recently too, didn't you? Yes, we did. Uh, it's called the Dancing on a Cloud service, and we can talk a little bit about that later on. Okay, uh, wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, we do have like five services that we offer to the clients. Uh, the first one is the DJ, which is you know as normal as any other wedding uh, business. Uh, the second one is the app lighting, and that's when we can change the lighting, you know, for the entire room to purple, pink, oh, cool. uh, blue, it whatever really color. It really sets the mood. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, the third one is the photo booth, which is a really new thing that everyone is um, going for these days. Those uh, are popular it's really, now. Yeah, yeah, they're very popular, very fun. We have all the props. Uh, the fourth one is the monogram. Uh, mm -hmm. So that we do uh, a really good job at finding uh, a design for the couple whether it's their first name or the first letter of their first name, uh, and then the first letter of the last name, and then project it toward the wall. Mm -hmm. And it creates a really cool image and sets up the mood for the wedding. Very mm -hmm. personalized. What neat ideas. Where awesome. were you when I got married? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about the process of how you go about helping your clients. Are there any common questions that they ask you? Where do you start off? Our clients get in contact with us through our website or um, through a phone call, um, clvevents.com, and then I'll get in touch with them and we'll kind of talk about their vision, kind of their overall look for the wedding and what they really want. Um, then we kind of figure out a package that works for them, of course, with their budget. Um, the most common question we get during the process is, what kind of music do you play? <laughs> and I think they have a lot of concerns, like they want to make sure it's you know, current music, but you know, it's really reflects them as a couple and what they like to listen to. And it's really important to us that we get that right. So we spend a lot of time talking about it and um, documenting it all for the DJ. It's a way to reflect their it. personality, you allow yeah. that to happen. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. It sets the mood. Sets really. the mood, yeah. Mm -hmm. That each part of the wedding during the dinner or during more people are dancing, that it's it's all appropriate and, and yeah. his work. Grandma I mean, likes it. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned uh, in there too about talking about budget a little bit. So, mm -hmm. you know, f for, for some folks that's a, a big element. You can spend a lot on a wedding and some folks need to do on a budget. So talk to us about how you really work with clients' budgets. I believe for the for, from the first meeting we kind of sit down to get a, a general view um, and show them like what we do exactly you know from the beginning to the end uh, and then from the second uh, in a, uh, meeting we sit down and we talk about like how we can help them in terms of the budget so we get a couple who want to have the app lighting the DJ and the photo book and they have like specific budget so we sit down we say okay this is what we can do for you and this is how we can help to make it happen um, and sometimes the really cool thing we also do is uh, we don't tell the wedding couples that let's say if they can afford all the three services, for example, from the DJ, app lighting, and um, photo booth. What we do, sometimes we we'll just show up. We'll, when you show up to the wedding, we'll bring the last services for them, but we don't tell them from the beginning. It's just How something special. for us to, Great. something cool for us to do yeah. because in this business, it's how you approach the clients and how you, you know, set up a really good service for them. And, uh, and it's been really fun because you see the look on, on, on the couples, it's just amazed, so. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Are there any events coming up, like bridal shows, where people can come and see a little more detail about what you guys do? Absolutely, yeah. we are doing the one in Madison, January 10th and 11th. Exciting, coming yes. up soon. Yes, yeah. coming up very soon. So we'll have all of our stuff on display, and people can see how it works, and you know, 
um, meet us. And then we're also in Minnesota and Chicago later on. Um, for, yeah, for the Madison one, we're doing a promo. People stop by our booth. Um, we're doing a drawing for free services. So we're really happy to do that, and it'll be a good time. That's excellent. Well, we love to check out the latest and greatest trends, and what a great time for a wedding show. So that's mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Carissa and Conlon. We yep, could probably talk to you all day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you're planning a wedding, go check these yeah. guys out. And if you're looking for a fun girls' night out, stick around. We've got Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison coming up right after this on Girl Talk here at the Pink Poodle. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're on the west side of Madison filming at the Pink Poodle. Our next guest is from Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Now maybe you've seen their ads but never stepped through their doors, so this is your chance to get the inside scoop of what goes on inside there. Our guest that's joining us today is Daniel Brown. He's the executive manager at Ho-Chunk Gaming. Welcome to Girl Talk, Dan. Thank you very much for having me. You bet. So, what goes on inside those doors <laughs> at Ho-Chunk? Lots of fun, lots of winning, lots of excitement, just a, a whole lot of winning. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> but, um, I've got uh, 1,150 machines in the facility. Uh, I have, a, I mentioned in uh, uh, the talk Absolutely. of the town recently that I got a 95% average payout. So just a lot of great uh, excitement and fun. Would this be one of those places that ladies should plan a girls' night out? It's a great idea to plan a girls' night out at Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. Um, it's you, know, you have an opportunity to come out there, maybe get a group of, of, of your girl of your friends. Um, get at a machine, everybody makes a contribution, you sit around, take turns, you know, pressing the buttons, you get into a bonus round, and you start seeing your, your, your meters <laughs> increasing, you're making a lot of money, and you know, just a fun, fun time for you guys to high five one another and walk out with a lot more money than what you walked in We with. can take our winnings and go get a massage, right? Go get yeah. a massage. Shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Well, that sounds like tons of fun. We got to speak uh, before, but I want to know how much money can we win there? This sounds like the fun part, right? How much do you want to win? Well, I mean, sky's the limit. <laughs> we've got a, we've got a progressive on the floor that pay you a million dollars for a single spin. No, you don't. Um, we have we've paid out uh, in excess of sixteen million dollars so far this year, this calendar year. Well, I, I don't see any problem with us surpassing the thirty million dollar mark. You can win. Um, I've paid out a uh, quarter million dollars last month, a hundred thousand. So it's not unusual to have um, six figure wins um, wow. in our casino floor. Hey. What time do you open? I'll be there. <laughs> we're, we're, we're open 24-7. The only oh, time we right. ever close is Christmas Eve at 4 o'clock. We open back up Christmas Day at noon. <laughs> Not bad. All yeah. right. So 95% payout, you said. What if, what if we're in the 5%? What if we lose a few bucks? So what, what can make us feel better about losing those dollars? You know, first of all, you're going about it with the wrong attitude. Oh. You're going in to win, right? <laughs> right, okay. But if by chance you do lose a few I'm dollars. New. Yeah, yeah, if you do, it goes to a great cause. You know, the profits that go to... <laughs> Um, funding a lot of our nation's program, the Ho-Chunk Nation's programs, that's education, social programs, housing, elder care, health care. Um, we also make a lot of contributions within the city of Madison. I've got a budget for about half a million dollars that I kick out to American Diabetes, Diabetes Association, American <coughs> Cancer Society, um, Red Cross. Also, you're supporting a lot of families, about 300 employees there. In Business Magazine just indicated that we're ranked about 48th out of 99 as far as employers. I got 300 employees out there, so wow. you wow. do a lot of really good things when you come in and play and uh, win there at Ho Chunk Gaming Madison. I did see on your website you had a list of uh, several organizations that you. We do, and we actually do a lot of con you know contributing even to local festivals um, within Madison and in surrounding communities. We like to do sponsorship to. Uh, you know, just just to be out there and, and you know provide that assistance. It's nice to see a place give back. Absolutely, giving back is so huge for you know not just the casino but Ho Chunk people in general. That's what we do. Um, hospitality is the name of our game, and uh, so being in gaming it provides us a marvelous opportunity to to do that and to give back. Where do you see your casino on the entertainment landscape in Madison? That's a great question. You know, we're, we we're a complement to the city. That's what we do. You know, we're, we we have, it's another entertainment alternative. You've got State Street, you've got uh, Barrymore, you've got Willie Street, you've got so many awesome things. Overture, the Badgers, just, just, the city is so vibrant and has so many opportunities. And what we feel like we do is just provide you know, an additional alternative. Um, we don't see ourselves pulling business out of, out of the city. You know, we're, we're somebody that is an added attraction. Um, you get tired of going to the movies or there's a bad movie on this week. Come <laughs> on out and enjoy you know, us. And in one of the, we're one of the few places where you can come in 
and actually walk out with more money than what you walked in. So you had a variety, not competition. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. So you're open 24 hours, you said. 24 hours, that yes. That is outstanding. So we can come anytime, but uh, we had, we're had we talking a little bit of uh, bridal here today. We just had uh, Sailor V events, so this might be a good place for a bachelorette party, it's too. A, it's a great place for a bachelorette party or any kind of celebration, you know, birthday or any kind of milestone that, you know, your friends are having. It's a great time to come out and just enjoy yourselves. Our service is outstanding, friendly folks, um, fast service, and you got a great opportunity to win. Outstanding. We look forward to it. So check out Ho-Chunk Gaming in Madison, maybe for your girls' night out. Stay tuned. Our next guest is from the Pink Poodle. We'll be talking about what's in store for men and fall fashion. Hi, welcome back to Girl Talk. We're here with uh, Joe Testa at the Pink Poodle. Joe, what a phenomenal store you have here. And it's Thank not you. just for ladies. It's is this not. True? It is not just for ladies. You know, when we moved into this location six years ago, it was such an enormous space that it gave us the opportunity to really expand and, and have a full men's section. Now, I know that men are not accustomed to resale like women are. They're just not shoppers. If they're like me, A, they grew up shopping in malls. B, whatever they bought, they wore till it wore out. Right. Women love to turn things over. Yes, we do. And I think men are starting to catch on to that idea and that trend that you can really get fantastic values. You can find labels that you never thought you'd be able to afford and they're right here at the Pink Poodle. Absolutely. I mean, looking at um, what you've got here is just, it's just absolutely phenomenal. What kind of labels and brands do you have? Boy, just about everything. Uh, we, we really do go for upscale labels. So bottom line would be you might find some Gap things or you might find some uh, Tommy Hilfiger, but that would be about as low as we go. We mm -hmm. are really looking for better things. We love J. Crew. We love Tommy Bahama. I personally love Hugo Women Boss. Women love J. Crew as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Hugo Boss and I love Xenia. Um, boy, there's all kinds of things. Robert Graham. These wonderful shirts of Robert Graham you find yeah. at Nordstrom's for $250. Oh you can find God. them here for under $100. I'm already picturing men and they just look handsome already. Yes, yes. So what kind of recommendations do you have for our male viewers at home? Well, my recommendation is, is really go through your closet, see what it is that you have that's in fantastic condition, that's still really valuable, but you're no longer wanting to wear it. Sure. Bring it in, learn to become a consigner. Take a look around and see what we have. We have some phenomenal suits. We have uh, suits that range anywhere from $40 up to $500 and higher. We have wonderful selection of coats, whether it's winter coats. Um, right now I have this fantastic Chanel long full length coat for men. Wow. It's fantastic. We get Burberry trench coats. And then we also have the everyday light fall and spring jackets. We have sports coats, we have designer wear. So, Go through their closets, see what they you know have that they can get rid of, and bring it in, and, and see if we're willing to consign it for them because it's a great return. It, whatever the selling price is, they'll get 50% of it. They can turn around and go back, or just look right here in the store and find other labels that they weren't buying before, and just upgrade their closets. That is so great. I mean, there's nothing better than a nice dress man. Yes. Absolutely, yes. and especially for uh, downtown Madison coming into the winter. Right, and my favorite yeah, phrase, fabulous. right, my favorite phrase, and I think it's attributed to Cary Grant, is fashion is seasonal, style is forever. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much, Thank Joe. Thank you. We're going to head over to Jessa and Beth in the women's department. All right, we have moved over to the women's department here at the Pink Poodle. We are standing in the section of the fabulous... Clara Sun Wu, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So last month you introduced us to this awesome line that you're very excited about, and we got to talk to you about all the different things that you're carrying. Fall is upon us, so do you have some new fall inventory that you get to introduce to us now? Oh, we sure do. Um, we have gotten in some really nice sweater vests that they're showing for this fall. Awesome. You can intermix them, black pants, brown. Uh, we had also gotten, this was on the cover of the catalog this fall. Look at the colors on that. Gorgeous Just greens, beautiful. worn with gray, worn with black. We Gorgeous have fall colors. another sweater vest, cheetah print, animal print, zebra print is in this some season. 
Love it. You can wear it with leggings. You can wear it with a, the matte jersey palazzo pants to match that. We also have in your badger red. Oh, good. We love our red in the yes, fall. Yes, we That's a do. Nice, deep, bright red for, for fall if you want a little pop of color. Sure. Like you that. can uh, pin this with the straight leg pant, the liquid leather pant. There's a palazzo pant. Um, we also have the two-piece twin sets that have come in and the cobalt, oh. the black, the shimmer. Those are great. People really love a nice twin set, you know, especially, you know, this is very versatile going out, going to work. You can kind of switch from right. day to night. Right. You can put, you know, some stone jewelry with it. You can switch it up for an evening event, put some rhinestones with it. Jessa really? is wearing the uh, cheetah print yeah. dress today. Love the cheetah print. I really like that for fall. And the jacket that you picked out. The liquid leather. There's Love matching this. leggings that match that, which is great for going out at night or date night. Can't forget date night. And Beth is the master. She literally just, I didn't have a thing to do with this. She went and pulled it all together for me. Everything fit. Everything goes. I love it all. So Braided her hair. <laughs> Even did the hair. Yeah. Got the earrings, the whole we have thing. Accessories are really important. We have um, the beautiful stoned bracelet. Yeah, I love We have this the bracelet. rhinestone um, hair clip. Love that too. The earrings. And the headband. Even. All the headband. Yeah. You cannot forget so your much headband. Fun. So you've got me all accessorized and there's a lot of unique characteristics that you know we got to talk to you about last time and the quality too so does that carry over with the collection from summer to fall sure it's made in new york it's made in the united states of course um it's packable it's uh, great for travel and you said this jacket's even washable washable yeah you can't forget that we love that so we get the fashion without the high you know care which is really nice right and right that's great so we got just a few seconds make sure you know kind of recap for us what is sort of so great about clara sun Wu and, and some of the favorite the great thing yours. is it's um intermixing it's like animals for ladies everything intermixes the outfit that i have on there's about eight pieces with this soft shimmer you can wear a palazzo pant, you can wear a skirt, you can wear um, a cold shoulder top with it, and then just put your accessories on and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Oh, so much fun to come here at the Pink Poodle. And Beth truly knows what she's doing. <laughs> Thank you for pulling this together for me. I do need your help. So. <laughs> Come see her, she's gonna help you out. Thank you so much, Beth. Thank you. And thank you to our guests, and thank you for watching. That's it for us for Girl Talk. Please join us next time.